All right, so we're going to be starting off Jen versus Mega, Ike versus Palutena. All right. And how you doing, Munel? All right. Yes. One last week. Yeah, uh, beat John last week at Xeno and yesterday as well at Waypoint. So Mega uh, taking out one of the, the usual heavy hitters. So definitely a bit on an up and up. And uh, But yeah, regardless, Jen going to be taking that first stock. Uh, only have taken 80 damage. Works cut out for, for Mega right now. Ike is going to have to approach the invincible trample shield. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so now Jen uh, getting a full stock lead, having taken zero damage on on their first uh, on their second stock. And so now, oh boy, it just keeps getting harder and harder for Mega. Uh, going to have to probably switch up something, because uh, right now Jen is just uh, just hitting like a, like a truck. Good lord. Oh. Yeah. And Mega has shown that retreating back here, that retreating effort a lot, especially in the set against PK Crispy saw that. Ooh, that falling up is super good. Also, really not minus on block at all. Um, so a nice listen to that by Mega, but Nair up tilt's going to take it. Nice all confirmed right. by Jen. Yeah, Jen going to be taking game one. Uh, on, <laughs> kind of handedly. Yeah. Honestly. Got a little bit tight at the end, but, you know, still two stock. Yeah. Um, Ike certainly is, is one of those characters that has the potential to utilize rage incredibly well and you know make a lot of um, make a lot of percent up with uh, the combos that Ike has. However, um, Palutena's neutral is just so strong and advantage is just so strong, especially against a character with a mediocre disadvantage like Ike. Um, and Jen took full advantage of that that last game. Right. So now game two. Uh they didn't. Uh, we we don't. We have no way to see what their strikes were. But mm -hmm. running it back to PS2, probably just the fact that Mega's just like, okay, I think I know what I did wrong, and I'm just gonna keep everything the same. So if Jen doesn't mix anything up, then I will mix him. Uh, Ooh, no jump. Yeah, already a pretty good situation, but not gonna be enough. Although the pressure hasn't ended. Yeah, that double nair up air is super close to a true combo, even at these high percents. Oh, we got a read? That's a classic Ike read up throw into that up smash. Not going to work out there, though. Palutena with that nair. Hitbox just large enough to hit a crouching Ike. But that up air is going to be enough. And Mega starts off with his first stock lead of the set. All right, yeah, this is a really good situation uh, because, like, Ike is not going to be, like, too, like, uh, too much pressure in the sense that, like, uh, trying to run back that stock. But, you know, if he's able to just keep things at, like, even, then he's able to maintain that lead, you know? Just don't overextend and, like, just, just take it slow if you need to. Yeah, and Mega, I think, certainly is that type of player who really doesn't overextend super often unless, obviously, yeah, no. he's down by a lot. Mega likes to play defensively. Mega likes to dash back. Uh, oh, my God, that angle. Whoa, oh, my gets Lord! Back. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, uh, 
to I agree with you uh, to go a little bit further. Mega very like a uh, very aware, very smart player. Mm -hmm. So you know, he's not gonna try and go for anything too crazy. Uh, if, if he has, like, overwhelming respect. But Jen going to get that juggle, and not too much that he's, uh, Mega's going to be able to do about that. So now, let's see what the turnaround is going to be. Ooh, an important air dodge that we're going to get back to stage, and it does pay off for him. It's a quick nair forward air. Now has Jen at the ledge. Can we see the uh, ledge trap? No. Jen reversing the tides there. Ooh, quick auto reticle. That's so good for Palutena because Ike loves to do quick short hops, quick full hops. Um, to kind of mix up the timing of when he is going to do an air. Um, and Palutena neutral B just completely kind of invalidates that as a mix up. Um, covering so much space yeah. with that move. Yeah, auto reticle uh, is Ooh. a really interesting move because it, it doesn't hit very hard, but like all it, its job is to cover space, and it does that very well. Nice turnaround after the spot dodge. <gasps> really great read Ooh. by Jen as well. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> just kill sparks left and right. Ooh, tries to get a read on the block there. Jen has been blocking quite a bit. Okay, Ooh. wow. Barely gets under the yeah, explosive flame there. Wow. Threading the needle. But yeah, back off stage. Uh, and up air going to take her off the top. Yeah, a quick mix of off the ledge. We've seen Mega do that before uh. Uh, in the set against PK Chris. However, not going to work out that time around. Goes um, for like the standard root like Ike things and just like went down the flow chart. And Jen was just like, I wonder if he's going to do the flow chart. Oh, he is. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> and it ended up working out for Jen to take that stock. And not only to take that stock, but um, also to do quick 48% take a lead. Oh, we got double parries. We got a bit of percent there as well. Yeah, I mean, Jen not mixing up. Uh, it was just like, oh, you parried that, but I got made it safe. Let me just try it again. Are you going to get it? And th and Mega was able to. Not too much of a punish. So right now we're still at some pretty even percentages here. Oh, that could have been some crazy uh, pressure. Actually continuing it. Mega, what, what do you got for us? Yeah, trying to get out of the corner right now. That don't think the jump is gone. It is not. Um, Ooh, but that bat bear, so safe on block. They're kind of similar to Palutena, where very often I can just throw at that bear and jump bear again to catch a jump. Yeah, Jen reading the normal ledge Dead. grab and going for the grab. But Mega getting past, that's not going to be enough. Actually, you know, because of the edge guard, okay, going for high with the, the quick draw. Yeah. So called quick draw, right? Yes. Okay. Again, and that, and that uh, side B has been a really important tool for Mega to get out of disadvantage. Really, we haven't seen much of the up B, <laughs> as, I, as I say it, though. Uh, becomes out, as does the jump, and that will be Jen over Mega. 2-0, that back air so good. We saw how efficient Jen was once he got Mega in the yeah. corner, and that was kind of the, the name of the game that set, and ended up working out for Jen at the very end as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nice jump. Nice jump, yeah. dummy. So, so what's interesting about a situation like this, right, uh, is... Everyone has like a natural like ticking clock for like what a general weight is. And so if you like basically uh, I would say Jen waited for two clicks, right? He, yeah. he stood there uh, during the interaction of Mega getting up and then uh, waited and it was just like, yeah, it's time for us both to move on to the next situation. Yeah. And uh, because Mega saw that he was standing there, he was like, I'm going to try and jump over. And then uh, yeah. Jen was like, that's exactly what Je I want. Jen definitely reacted to S.H.I.E.L.D. being out and held yeah. and then said, well, what are you going to do is like other than yep. jump out of the corner? And um, read that perfectly. Yeah. So Jen moves on uh, further into this bracket. Hello, everyone. I'm Runel, along with <laughs> Disembodied. I am the uh, disembodied voice, joined by, I should say, the disembodied voice of Devin3000. I, 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 I could put my name in, I The guess. ghost of Devin3000. That's classic. Um, 